Hello everyone, let's look at longest substring without repeating characters. The problem statement is, giving a string s, find the length of the longest substring without repeating characters. First example, the input string is abc, abc, bb, output is 3. The answer is abc, with the length of 3. Second example, input string is b, 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 5b, the output is 1. The answer is B, with the length of 1. Third example, input string is PWWKEW. -W -W -E Output is 3. The answer is WKE. The length is 3. One notice is PWKE is only a subsequence and not a substring. To find the length of longest substring, we can take a couple of steps here. First, if the input string length is 0 or 1, we can simply return 0 or 1. Second, we will use a sliding window method to check the maximum length of the substring. So basically, we'll have two indexes, front index and back index, to check the non-repeating substring. The front index and back index will move forward, but in different speed. The length of the substring is front minus back plus 1. Let's take the example for this ABC, ABC, BB. So the front index will point to C. The index value is 2. The back index will point to A. The index value is 0. So the, the length of the substring ABC is 2 minus 0 plus 1. And third, we will have a map to store characters. The key is character. The value is index. We will update the value if we see duplicate character and update the index. And finally, we will loop through the input string. The front index will move from start to end. The back index will update when we see a repeating character. Along the way, we will update our map and maximum length. If I did not make this clear, I can confirm it will be really clear in our code logic. For the implementation, let's look at this step by step. Let's first handle the case for s dot length less than two. We can simply return s dot length. Second, let's claim all the variables. This map, the key, will be the individual character value, and the value will be the character index. We also need the front index, back index, and maximum length. All of their initial values are zero. This means, before we loop through the input string, the front and back index are all point to the start. Let's have our for loop ready. We also need a new variable to decide if a character is already in the map. Let's first handle if the value does not in the map. If it's not exist, then we simply save the value in the map and we also update the maximum length. We save the value as key and we save the index as value. The maximum length will be the maximum of the current maximum length or from minus back plus one. If the value is already in the map, we can simply update the back index to make it move forward.
Let's look at an example. For the first example, A, B, C, A, B, C, B, B. In the beginning, both front index and back index point to zero. That's A. And then, while we loop through the input string, the front index point to B, C, and A. When it point to A, we realize there's already an A in the map. So, we can update the back index to make it point to B. That's why we have this back equals exist plus one. At the same time, we also need to make sure the back index always move forward, which means it does not go backwards. So that's why we need to add a new condition here. So this is our loop. And then in the end, we can return the maximum length. Let's submit a passed. Let's look at the complexity. For the time, I think it's all of n because we have this for loop to loop through the input string. And for the space, I think it mainly refers to the size of our map. The size of the map also depends on the size of the input string, but there's also a limit for this size. So that will be the size of the ASCII table. So I, I think for the space complexity, it's all 128. Thank you for watching.